Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Here's the T-Mobile G1 again. I'm going to be doing some videos about this guy again. This video, I'm going to talk about Twidroid. Twidroid. Twidroid? It's a Twitter application. Probably the most popular Twitter application on the Android platform. Okay, so we're going to talk about Twidroid. Here's the icon. It looks like a little guy. A little Android guy. Oops, I held down the held down the button there it looks like a little android guy it looks like an android guy holding his arm up and it's got a twidroid little thing there so i'm going to tap on it and launch it and you'll see here that twidroid looks like your typical twitter application okay right now it's bringing up my replies because that's the last thing that was there so i'm going to go back here to my main tweets category And it, while it loads that, there we go. So as you can see, it has the, the person's name. It has their icon as they load. Sometimes they don't load all the way. I think that's a fault of the, uh, the API. But they come in slowly. And you can see you can drill down. There's an arrow on the right side here next to each tweet. And if you tap on that, you can drill down to the conversation. You can go to the uh, tweet options as well. To reply, show profile, favorite tweet, retweet. So I'm going to show profile and take you to this person's profile. This is Chris Loft. He's in South Australia. And you can see his location. You can see his bio. You can see his web address. You can see the people he's following. And you can see his tweets. And I can choose to unfollow him right there with that big fat unfollow button. And one of the things I like about Twitter is that it can run in the background. So if I go to home, I'm going to tap on home here. Now, right now, if I get a new tweet, it will automatically come in. I don't need to worry about having the application open. You can see this little at sign at the top left. That denotes that I have an email. But also, it shows me other notifications. And if I get a tweet, it will pop up there and give me a nice little notification. So I like that about that. Let's go back to the application here. And you see how fast it came up. It's already in memory. So down here are the buttons. I can, I can do a new tweet with that button. I can see my replies. Here I can do my DMs. And here I can refresh. So this is a, a, a fairly simple application. So I'm going to do a test tweet now. So I'm going to launch the application. And I'm going to say, uh, this is, you can see the keyboard there. Yeah, you can. This is a test tweet. For Twidroid. See that? There's the text that says, This is a test tweet for Twidroid. I used a keyboard down here. It's backlit, so if you can see the keys in the dark. And if I'm done, I can just close it if I want, go back to the normal view, and it'll still be there. And I can just hit this, uh, I believe it's this right arrow, which will automatically post it. And this is a, a location thing if I want to do that. Or I can post an image. And I'm not going to, eh, let's post an image. Why not? Let's bring up the calendar here, and there's an image that's already there. I don't want to use this, so I'm going to hit this button here. I believe that's how you do... Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to take a picture of something. <laughs> Let's take a picture of my laptop. And... I just took a picture of my laptop. It's generating a preview now. So there's my laptop, um, and I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to send that tweet, and it's uploading the photo, you see that, it's got a little nice little thing there, and it says tweet sent down here at the bottom. So that's as simple how it is to receive, send and receive tweets, I can go to replies here. So in the chat room, if you're watching, just reply to me on Twitter or something, so it'll pop up here in a second. So I can show them the replies. <laughs> There's Kovac says, we're in your streams eating your frames. So that's pretty funny. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get out. See if I can get a reply tweet here. I hit the home button. Let's wait for it to get to the home screen. Okay. So I'm going to give them a couple of seconds. I know it checks periodically, but I wanted to check. There it is! New tweets! See it? Say it at the top. See the little twit guy? 
the little tweeter guy, see the guy? He looks like a little guy. It's got a little number next to it, and you drag it down, and boom. It says Twidroid. It says New Replies, and I go here, and it'll bring up my replies, and it'll refresh it. Let's wait for it to refresh it. There we go. And <laughs> now I got all kinds of replies. I got Hello YouTube, and Works Fine, blah, blah, blah. Reply for Buona, Hello. There's DG Murdoch. Bunch of people. There's Colin. There's ah yes, yes, yes. Replies and replies and replies on top of replies. So it took a little while for it to happen because it pulls every now and then. It's not real time, but you know that's to be expected. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and this is Twidroid for the Android platform. Great Twitter client. Does all the basics very well. Uh, it's got the basic interface. Like I said, you can retweet, you can reply, you can show profiles, you can favorite, you can do your direct messaging, and it runs in the background seamlessly. So take care and enjoy this review of Twidroid.